Welcome to WTSA, the World's Telecommunications Standardization Symposium being held here in New Delhi, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Noah Luo, who is the chair of Study Group 21. Noah, welcome to the studio. Yes, thank you very much, Max, for your kind invitation. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, perhaps you could give us a little brief introduction of the work of Study Group 21. Yeah, that's my great honor uh, to be here as a guest. Uh, actually, Study Group 21 is the youngest, uh, newest study group. We just approved its creation uh, during this uh, WTSA 24. The title is Technology for Multimedia Content Delivery and uh, Cable Television. I'm from China, and uh, before that, I have been uh, serving eight years as the chairman of Study 16, and also probably background knowledge is uh, 21 comes out of consolidation of both study group 16 and uh, study group 9. So uh, we are doing uh, very exciting work uh, for the next uh, uh, study period by consolidating the study items and the strategies from the two study group. But it's not just simply uh, a con re recombination or the reshuffling, but anyway, it's a deep and a full integration. Now, there's some new topics that are being covered here, uh, including metaverse. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about that. Yes, um, with great delight, we observe uh, this WTIC 24 adopt some strategic uh, resolution based on global consensus, rather than metaverse. Actually, both uh, study group as uh, is president, uh, Stack 16 and 9 are heavily are working, have been heavily working on metaverse and related topics. And now we are being given the chance uh, to do this work together as a unity. And uh, this uh, new resolution on metaverse provides us high level uh, direction uh, guidelines. Uh, metaverse are uh, deeply and broadly uh, used in almost every area. So uh, we, together for the telecommunication and ICT technologies, uh, with emphasis on multimedia, content delivery, and the cable television are uh, those areas which will first, uh, I think, uh, witness the successful business deployment of relevant tech uh, network technologies. And Stack 16 and 9 together into this new study 21, in addition to deploy uh, abundance of uh, metaverse application, we can also develop a very unique underlying technology which will serve and very useful in enabling uh, building blocks. Now, ITU is the United Nations Specialized Agency for Technology. Uh, of course, one of the, the main key goals for the United Nations is this, are the sustainable development goals. I wanted to ask you, how can standardization help advance the sustainable development goals? Right. So, yeah, like you said, as a specialized agency and the United Nations, it's our um, duty to support the uh, implementation and realization FDG uh, in this time framework to 2030, uh, we can contribute um, to be specific in the new study group 21. Uh, we inherit a lot of uh, a solid uh, basis from both study 16 and 9. Uh, we will be able to support a number of uh, IDG, but in particular, I want to mention how we will be able to support IDG number three, health and well-being. Uh, question 20. Eight from Study 16 has been working on uh, digital health uh, for a long time, and also we have successfully operate and complete a uh, very successful, well received uh, focus group AI for health uh, during the time period from uh, 2018 and until last year. That also gave us excellent base for future work. We have full confidence we can deliver more uh, useful results in that area. And with great um, uh, delight, I also want to share with you, during this WTIC, a parallel great event is uh, a Mobile Congress for India, uh, IMC 2024. So we run a, a joint event um, on the topic of safe listening, because India, I think India has overtaken as a 
country with the largest population. Its population over 1.4 billion, and also it's a very young and uh, uh, growing population. That means we have a, a huge number of young people, adolescents, to protect. To uh, it's our duty to give them access to safe learning when they uh, live, when they work, when they learn, and when they have the entertainment like gaming. So we developed a thorough series of this kind of recommendation together with WHO. And I think we anticipate a very broad future, a, a future broad deployment for some technology to benefit our Indian people. Now, this WTSA has been particularly active with lots of side events, lots of uh, other activities, as well as the core business. And what I wanted to ask you, uh, in globally, in terms of the event itself, how do you think it's gone? This WTSA meeting, I like I said, we achieved a great uh, success in the two major areas. For example, uh, based on consensus, we uh, adopted this uh, restructuring for the, all the study group, especially the consolidation of 16 and 9 to build uh, 21. Also adopt a number of uh, meaningful uh, resolution. But in addition to that, I think the side effect for the AI for Good digital wave and also in parallel the India Mobile Congress, all our well uh, organized plan, uh, they run in such a way uh, like different waves, they can enhance each other. So, uh, for example, you play different music, but they happen to uh, interplay and uh, enhance uh, each other to, to give you a much better experience and also achieve the maximum effect in my personal view. Because I also spend some of the time uh, after the meeting, uh, look around, all the exhibition, and uh, I say probably uh, on the first day, uh, Prime Minister himself also wait, uh, come here to visit those uh, very uh, dynamic um, startup. I also learned a lot. I think uh, with great pleasure, I even noticed one of these uh, um, pavilion demonstrate medical uh, instrument uh, implementation based on one of our recommendation. And one of the recommendations, fabulous. So you yeah. know, we know that it's getting out there. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Noah, for being in the studio with us. It's been great to hear your valuable insights. And uh, hopefully, we'll catch up with you again very soon. Yeah, thank you very much, Max. OK, once again, I think uh, it's my great honor. Thank you very much for being with us in the studio. Yes. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Max. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.